Did you know that leisure activities play a far larger role in our life and career than what we were taught it did? So through this video, we're gonna document how leisure activities evolved and changed with the development of entire civilizations and you will be able to judge at the end if you can call this development a progress or a deterioration for the prosperity of the humankind. Leisure activities serve different purposes throughout different periods of time according to society's needs and perceptions. We're gonna start by discovering what leisure activities looked like in the Middle Age. Well, back then, it referred to the abstinence from work and were associated with luxury and pleasure, becoming a sign of nobility and a privilege. From the 4th to the 13th century, we had the development of theater plays, read poetry, music, and religious tourism. In fact, classical music emerged in the 5th century, which helped in relaxing the nervous system, amplifying emotional mood states, and slowing down age-related cognitive decline. When it comes to poems, they give internal strength to people, helping them overcome a problem, reach a goal, let go of their guilt, and even inspire them to become a better person. While religious tourism helped people experience a deeper connection to faith, gaining a certain peace at all levels. How? Well, by visiting different sites and gaining a larger understanding of their own faith, deepening their spiritual connection. In the 14th and 15th centuries, there was the development of new literary genres, sculpture and painting. We will discuss in a future video the importance of art in human's life, but what's for sure is that artistic activities have many therapeutic benefits to human health. With the post-industrial revolution, the notions of leisure were shaped differently in the contemporary age. It represented the subtraction of work, meaning the goal is to not work and do anything else. Leisure became a blank and meaningless time. In fact, in the second half of the 20th century, the three main forms of leisure activities were tourism, which played a significant role in the social and economical development of countries, and the development of the cultural knowledge of a person. Sports, which emotionally engages larger groups of fans and supporters, which cultivates a strong sense of integration on local, regional, and global levels. And media, which greatly influenced and shaped a new perception of leisure time through television, press, cinema, books, and more. The turning point in the transformation of leisure activities started with the digital revolution and the globalization which has created new concepts of distance, communication and virtual sense of satisfaction. In fact, in today's society we can highlight a strong relationship between leisure time and technology. All notions of original leisure have changed with the advancement of technology. Leisure time is now highly influenced by personal computers, the internet, the world wide web and video games. What these new forms of leisure can offer are relaxation, stimulation, and interactions with others. After seeing the development of leisure activities, it's time to see how young Lebanese citizens spend their free time nowadays. So actually, during summer, I've been working, so I've been spending my time here. Aside from that, with my friends or either on Netflix, not gonna lie. Uh, I like to read from time to time, but I'm not really having time for this. أنا بشتغل ريموتلي وشغلي كله على اللابتوب سو قد ما في اجرب اطلع وشوف مناظر حلوه بحر جبل هيدا الشيء اللي عم بعمله ليتلي بلبنان يعني شتويه انه سينا نتفليكس مثلا دينر شي محل كوزي well my free time is reading i work in the library so uh, it's kind of a good thing like i get the books <laughs> i do pay for them but uh, i like reading i like to meditate i like to do yoga work out go for a run Music, dance, you know, like everything that makes you feel alive, you know, escape from this world. Uh, I'm a gym, a gym personal trainer, okay, Marlin, the gym. I keep hang out with my friends, okay, I like the nightlife, come on. About the swim, play games, play my absente, that's basically it. Uh, activities, uh, camping, hiking, uh, swimming, traveling. 
we understand that traditional forms of leisure activities are being fastly replaced by new ones in order to align with the current needs of the population, reflecting so little progress. We notice that most people consider leisure time as a time to have fun, disconnect from the world's chaos, and just have a good time, while a very few others consider leisure time as a time to heal and grow on both a physical and spiritual level. Now it's interesting to reflect on one thing. Through the study conducted by the American University of Beirut in 2019, they deducted that more than 95% of Lebanese youth use social media at an average of 3 hours per day. So clearly, a big part of the youth spend a big portion of their free time on social media, but most people don't consider it as a proper activity worth mentioning. So we can ask ourselves a question. Is social media worth all the time we devote to it, or is it silently consuming the precious time meant for meaningful leisure? So what's the purpose of this video, and why is it so important to pay attention to how we spend our free time? Well, leisure time provides an opportunity to escape from the stresses of daily life and engage in activities that bring enjoyment, healing our body and soul. Not only that, through the TED talk presented by the PhD holder Karen McFarlane Holman, we understand that we live in a world that constantly tells us how important it is to choose the right career as it's our only source of income and the only way to obtain a social status and identity. In fact, people live to work and not work to live, when truly, life is all about finding the right balance between leisure time or hobbies and work, as hobbies play a far larger role in our lives than what we were taught it did, as it helps fuel our work life and enhance our careers by uplifting our mood, well-being and emotions. So the way you spend your leisure time can either fuel your growth or waste your potential. The debate starts here. Fact is, the internet is blurring the traditional boundaries of leisure and work, fantasy and real life. The problematic and controversial point here is the relationship between technology-based leisure activities and health, as the predominance of the internet and technology on leisure activities tends to reduce the participation of the youth in active and health-enhancing leisure activities. So now it's crucial for you to ask yourself, are you merely passing the time or are you truly investing in a future worth living?